Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? They appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always there. Holding out my on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will Scott sacrifice. System. Guys! Let's just hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters the bones of all that go after it. Skulls of the greatest hunters are pale of its fangs. Imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death! Out of the question. Well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. I am... He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Tell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its rule. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. 
Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Des? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? This could all have been avoided if the rodent had relinquished his hidden cache of units. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. I am Groot. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Are we going? Because I'm ready. They say that Seknarf-9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. We accomplish nothing by lingering in the ship. How about staying dry? That's an accomplishment. Of course. It had to be raining. I hate wet. I am wet. Dry up. That's what I- Okay, here we go. I ever mention how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. At least we'll have time to think about our sales pitch. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Drax! Gamora's on our side. For now, just try to accept it. What are you- Oh! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blocked right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, keyword live. If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship.
you should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some of this. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready.
That's what a monster around here looks like. We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. Nice! Turned around as well. Where the fuck are we? Just look around. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. All right, Gamora. Research this way. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Gamora, am I cutting us a path? You say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infantrymen. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold? Fear. No. I'm just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A. Just go. No, you just someone go! Someone go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous, because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable. Oh, oh, Scott! Yep, that's what saw the guy catch. Yeah.
nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Anyone know what that is? A monster! Running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Hell lady is some old war hero and she can get Nova off our backs. I wouldn't bring up the war. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. No, 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 no. Small marvel crafted. Hey, Quill, mind giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. No can do. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. No siree, Bob. think made this place worth fighting over. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ships we've seen just got taken down by the storms. You think this place was like a secret base? Could be. In the middle of nowhere, inhospitable surface, storms provide cover from detection. 
starting to wonder if I should be the one with the fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. If you want to shoot that thing down, you're gonna need a better angle. He's right. Your shooting is terrible. My shooting is not terrible. Then why is your target not falling? You need a better angle, apparently. we fought is still out there. Are we gonna do something with that reactor unit? Damaged reactor will make a poor weapon against that creature. Well... No explosions, Rocket. Boring! Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, Assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. You gotta say, I get some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. That's a pretty big reactor unit up there, and it's only hanging on by a thread. I wonder if we can pop it loose. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. Alright, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. You think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff? If they are in there, they wouldn't be mummified. The environment's too damp. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This... Unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Drax, you still out there? Uh, indeed. Anything you can do, like climb down that craggy wall. Only if you allow me to throw you like I threw the rodents. Nope. Nope, it's okay. Groot, can you pull me out of here? He's afraid he'll get whacked by a big tentacle. What? Oh, the monster thing from earlier. Yeah, I get it. I'm surprised this thing hasn't been picked clean for salvage. This planet is no place for carrying. He's got a point. Hard enough to land here, let alone scour the surface for scrap. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Group, any suggestions? Rocket, you know what I'm thinking. I could always throw a bomb at the wing strut. No! no! What's wrong with you? I was thinking Gamora could cut the cable. Gamora, can you use the reactor to get up the ship? Not when it's over there. Mind lifting that up? With ease. You can put it down here. Done. Next, Peter Quill. Anything you can do with that busted reactor unit rocket? Oh yeah, tons of stuff. Just not moving. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. All right. Slippery wind pummel treetops, here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora is super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's Fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure! Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Looks like there's a way down here! Quill! You gotta see this ship! Behold! PlayStation.